Welcome to this quick tip presentation about stress linearization using Autodesk Nastran in CAD. Stress linearization is typically leveraged when performing finite element analysis of pressure vessels in accordance with ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 8, Division 2. You use the stress linearization utility to graph specified stress tensors along a stress classification line. Stress linearization will extract the membrane and bending results that comprise the total stress PM plus PB. This is an image of stress linearization inside of Nastran NCAD. We have broken this image up into four sections and we'll detail these four sections. In section one, the local stress tensor selection at the top left hand side of the dialog allows you to choose which result to plot in the graph. The green button is used to save the numeric result in a CSV file. In section two, the stress linearization graph displays the local stress tensor results along the currently defined stress classification line. In section three, the linearization controls allow you to specify the first and last point to define the SCL. The positive T direction is defined from the first point to the second point. In section four, the stress linearization results are displayed for both the max shear stress and the von Mises stress. Let's go ahead into NCAD and see how the utility works. So here I am inside of Nastran NCAD, and you can see that I have my model already analyzed. I have a pressure vessel with a head and nozzle, and I want to perform stress linearization. To do so, you access the stress linearization utility from the ribbon bar, which will then provide this dialog for you. The first thing that you're going to do is to find the T-axis or the stress classification line. This is done via the first and last points, and you can do this in three different ways. You can select a specific node number if you happen to know what the node numbers are. You can type in the XYZ coordinates, or you can choose from the model. So what I'll do is select first point. I'll activate that field, and then I can go to the model and select a node on the model. So I'm selecting inside the vessel here. That will define my first point. And then for the other point on my T-axis, I'm going to go ahead and click the field for last point to activate that. And I will select the exterior node on the model. Maybe zoom in a little bit to help. So that defines the T-axis or the tangential axis for my SCL. Now, the next section down defines the divisions. You can increase or decrease this number to gain or reduce the number of data points that you're seeing on the graph. And then below that, we need to define either the n-axis or the h-axis. The n-axis is your normal direction. The h-axis is your hoop. And so by default, it's on n-axis. So if I wanted to find the normal direction, by the way, you may have noticed that this model has been done as a symmetry model so that I can conveniently select points on the geometry, which will make your life a little bit easier. But to define the n-axis, again, I can type in a node number. I can select x, y, z coordinates. Or what I'll do is activate that field, and I can go ahead then and select a point right on my geometry. So now I have the n-axis. I have, excuse me, the t-axis defined. The n-axis I just defined via that third point. And then the h-axis can define, be defined via the right-hand rule. So at this point, now I can see my results. I can go up to the left-hand corner and I can toggle through the different results, or if I'd like, I can choose to export these all to a CSV file just by clicking this button here. At this point, I can save it with a particular name in whatever folder I would like. Go ahead and press save. And then I can browse to that particular folder on my computer and take a look at those results. There we can see those results inside of Excel. I hope you enjoyed this brief presentation on stress linearization within Autodesk Nastran NCAD.